to think that I'm 22 and I could have died when it happened. And there's no way I would have been uh, you know, happy with all the things I did. So I was just playing soccer with my friends at the indoor soccer place that we normally go to. I don't actually remember what happened. I don't have any memory, but my friends have told me. I came off the field. Apparently I was just leaning forward with my eyes open. Obviously things weren't normal. I collapsed. We were all very stressed and like really worried. Tan, are you okay? Apparently I stopped breathing. Can you hear me? Guys, he's not breathing. As soon as he wasn't breathing, I knew I knew what to do, so I just had to do it straight away. I'm gonna start CPR. Tan wasn't responding at all. Then that's when they decided to call triple zero. We need an ambulance. Can you go get the defib? If the sports clinic didn't have the defibrillator, I probably would have died. The CPR works, but you need the defibrillator early. A friend went to get the defib, and we got it pretty quickly. We opened it and followed the instructions straight away. Apply pads to patient's bare chest. The instructions were really easy to follow, and there's lots of pictures and diagrams, and it's the voice told you what to do in real time. Analyzing. Stay clear of patient. Shock advised. Shock delivered. Begin CPR. A couple of times while we we're doing compressions, he started breathing on his own again. And we put him in the recovery position and maybe maybe five seconds and then he would stop stop breathing again. We're always uh, hopeful and tend to see a better response when people have good bystander CPR prior to our arrival. When people do receive early CPR and defibrillation, it does increase their chance of survival. Anyone that doesn't receive it, obviously their chances of survival decreases. I did 30 compressions and then I started the rescue breaths. I think I did about three rounds before someone stepped in to take over compressions. And then I counted his compressions and did the rescue breaths. It's important people feel confident and comfortable to start CPR. A lot of people think that it's difficult. It's a really simple skill and we always say any CPR is better than no CPR. Even if you're unsure that you're doing it right, we always recommend that people do try. People's lives are at risk. So I think if this happened to you and you didn't have any training, I think you should call triple zero straight away, have a go at doing some compressions and send someone to look for a defib. I was so happy and grateful because I knew that from what I was told by everyone, they did like an amazing job and they did everything so quickly. Any cardiac arrest that we get back is great and to see him walking around today is excellent. I think I've heard statistics like only one in ten people survive a cardiac arrest and that uh, brain damage is very common, but because they did CPR so well and so quickly, it kind of saved not just me, but also my brain.